Today's exercise tip of the day is scapular depression. Uh, with our society's tendency to be hunched over, poor posture, rounded forward, we want to find ways to help combat that. We have desk jobs, sitting at the car, typing on the computer, looking at our phone, everything always rounded and forward. We want to first get some retraction to pull the shoulder blades back, but also to depress the scapula. So I want scapular depression. So what I like to do, I gotta talk to the camera. What I like, what I like to do is taking a band, just work on that depression. So you're gonna see this. Not working on the rowing part necessarily. This is part of lap pull downs, pull ups, all of that stuff. But to get the pattern down, we want to get the depression part separate, and then we can add the rest of that in. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do two just depressions, and then depression with an actual pull down motion. So we can practice our depression, depression depression and then a solid pull motion that's going to be really good to use the bands for that because as you pull down it gets tighter it's harder to hold down you want a pretty solid band to work with but it's a good way to suck those shoulder blades those scapula down into your back pocket which is going to be useful in a lot of other movements you can then carry that over into some normal pulling motions where we depress and then do whatever kind of motions that we're doing. So it's a depression and then pull. Helping pull the scapula or shoulder blades down into a safe position. It's part of pulling down and a pull up or pull down type of motion but it's also really important to be able to hold them down, hold the scapula down in position to do other movements safely.